So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try and do a little story time, get ready with me, makeup tutorial type of video. Oh so yeah, let's just see how it goes. Today I want to talk about what happened in the five years, why we stopped vlogging, um, because the last time I was on YouTube was 2014. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Also, I'm going to talk about me going back to school, becoming healthcare aid, why I did that, what happened, how, and all that stuff. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's just get on with the video. Okay, so I went ahead and already did my foundation, my primer, my eyebrows, and now I am baking. For foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation in a Desert Beige. My favorite drugstore um, foundation at the moment. Really good. The first color that I'm going to take is from a very old BH Cosmetics palette. Um, this I customized this one, I believe. I don't have a lot of palettes with like bright colors, but this is one of the few ones that I do have. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this bright pink right there with a fluffy brush. Just one like that, and we're gonna put it all over the eyelid. Now I made sure I packed all my um, powder underneath my eye just because I know there's gonna be a lot of fallout. Um, and with it being a very bright color, it'll be easy to just wipe it away. I am not one to wear bright colors like this. Um, but I am just feeling really inspired today. Well, actually, I was on Instagram, but I forgot what picture I was looking at, and I didn't screenshot it or anything. But um, somebody had a bright pink um, eyeshadow on their eyelid, like their makeup, and it looked so good. So um, the other night, I actually played around with it, and I... I played around with um, the colors that I have to kind of recreate it. So I guess this is like a recreation, but I don't have the original picture to show you. But yeah, like if you know me, I only wear like my browns and golds and like oranges and things like that. But like, I would never, but like I love it. So to kind of start off the chit chat, what happened in the six years? No, the five-year hiatus that I had on YouTube. Um, a lot, a lot has happened in those five years. Back in 2014, me and my sister decided to vlog for the entire year. And we did. Well, not the entire year. We did up until um, the summer. It was really fun. We vlogged a lot. Um, but at the same time when we started vlogging is when I got a new job. So I did not have time to constantly edit the videos and upload them. So we would just record and then like save it on my computer and then I would edit whenever I have time and upload it then. And then there was a point where I just got too busy where we just had all these videos and I didn't even like edit them or touch them or anything. So that's why I don't know if you've noticed but like more of the other vlogs got uploaded this year. But it, it's from like 2014. I just got really busy. Well, within that time. So that, so later that year um, life just got really busy so we would vlog. But then yeah I didn't have time to edit them. And then the very last vlog was in June. So that was the Banff trip. Um, and then 
basically after that vlog we stopped vlogging honestly don't even really remember why we stopped vlogging after that month because i remember we were doing monthly vlogs also if you watch back in that vlog there's a certain somebody in there um who basically that month after my birthday month had broken up with me so i think that's part of the reason why um i just got like really sad and depressed which is like really stupid you know when i think back on it i think that kind of has part of why we stopped but also like we did really get busy with life and also because my sister lives in calgary it was just hard to kind of vlog because like we lived in two different cities it was hard to kind of get together and do videos we stopped vlogging in june um later that year in december i had quit my job and we went to the philippines for like a month so it was like our first big family trip when we got back obviously i was jobless and i was jobless from january till march youtube really wasn't like on my mind back then especially when i was jobless so i didn't really do anything but kind of focus on getting a new job but yeah i got a job in march and basically after that again like life really just got busy so I kind of just put YouTube aside and vlogging and all that stuff and five years later here we are the next color that I'm gonna take is again from a very old palette this is I think my very very first palette I ever bought ever um, and it's by Coastal Scents I don't know if they're still around um, but this is a, a shimmer palette 88 color shimmer palette and it's got bright colors and yeah this was my very first palette i ever bought and i was so happy when i got it but um there's a lot of broken colors in there so i don't really want to tilt it so i'm going to take this hot pink color right there it's pretty much what happened and why we stopped vlogging back in 2014 like I said, a lot, a lot has happened, obviously, in the five years. With that new job that I got um, after the Philippines, I was there for, I think, three months. And then I actually lost that job. So, again, I was, like, really devastated. So, so then, again, for, like, the summer, I was jobless. I had found... Um, a position it's so funny so I worked at the mall and um, this one it was spring the shoe store so I worked there for three months and they let me go and I found a job literally right next to it at the body shop I got hired as just a regular sales associate and then yeah I really loved it there it was really fun I loved working there very girly like very me I got a job there around August. Quickly learned a lot about the company and the job and everything like that. And then that following June, I went to New York with my best friend. And after that, got promoted to assistant manager. And I was really happy about that. But then at the same time, they fired my manager. So I was basically on my own, like trying to run the store. I was basically on my own trying to run the store and my district manager worked out of Calgary. It was really hard. It was really stressful. Um, so then I basically had to become the manager without getting paid as the manager for like three months. The type where I don't want to like leave a job knowing that there's no manager, no assistant or whatever. So I had to tough it out. And it was really hard for me. I got a point where I didn't want to do it anymore. And I was sick and tired of it. Not at the job. Like, I love the job itself. But that made me realize that I did not no longer want to work in retail. So that kind of really opened up my eyes. The following November is when they found a new manager. So I was really happy. 
Um, I helped train her, made sure she was good to go. And then a month later is when I had quit my job. And it was actually really funny because I did not tell anybody that I quit my job, especially my parents, because they would uh, kill me. I, I put in my two weeks and then I was like, oh crap, what am I going to do? Like I, I literally just like quit out of the blue just because I was so done with it and I was lost. Um, you know that saying where you're like lost in your 20s or whatever? I was feeling that. I definitely was feeling that and I was kind of scared. Before I move on with that story, I'm just going to take my Too Faced, um, just peachy matte palette. Oh, I forgot that these had scents to it. So good. And I'm going to take Peach Sangria, which is like this maroon color there take the same brush that I put the lid color on and I'm going to like deepen up the crease. Once that manager at the body shop was all trained up and ready to go is when I was like see ya I gotta get out of here and yeah I quit without having a plan b on what I wanted to do where I was gonna work you know and I knew I wanted to go back to school but I didn't know what I wanted to do because I right out of high school i went to college and it took two years in business administration um and marketing and it wasn't really for me like obviously because years after i graduated i didn't do anything with it because like basically i just been like working at the mall and i've always been in like management positions but um i never really did anything with my marketing I knew I wanted to go back to school, but I didn't know what for. So when I had quit my job, I thought, okay, like I'll look into going back into school. And I told my best friend about it. And she said, well, why don't you go back um, in like the healthcare field? And I thought, okay, like maybe, but like, you know, I didn't want to be a nurse or anything else. So she had suggested um like a residential aid they basically work with um handicaps in their homes and i thought okay like i could probably do that because you know, her mom does that my mom did it for years my aunt does it and then i was talking to my other friend at the same time and she was like well why don't you look into a healthcare aid and i thought okay like maybe so she kind of talked to me about it what it was and she had mentioned the school that she went to and it only took uh five months to complete and she got a job right away and it's like a good paying job and it's high in demand as well she told me the school which was academy of learning i didn't know, really know anything about like healthcare but i said okay cool like i'll go into the school look into it whatever I booked an appointment with the um, counselor and at this point I still did not tell anybody that I quit my job <laughs> um, I just like told them that I didn't really have hours because obviously I wasn't going for I wasn't going to work so a little backstory also around the time that I had quit my job my mom broke her elbow she fell down the stairs the day before Christmas Eve so she broke her elbow broke her bone um, so I basically had to help her bathe get dressed and all that stuff like basically help her with everything so at the same time I felt like that was such a blessing in disguise that I had quit my job around that, that same time because she needed somebody at home to help her and so at this at that same time also my friend was talking about the healthcare program and that's basically what you do is you help people either in the hospital or assisted living so at the time you know helping my mom and everything that kind of made me realize like maybe that is what I want to do so fast forward to when I went to the school I booked an appointment with the counselor I went in she talked about the program and I really did not hesitate and I was like 
yeah, sure, let's go for it. Like, I'll sign me up, whatever, like, however long the process will take. And she was like, well, I can sign you up right now and you can get accepted and your program will start in February. And this was January. And I just went for it and I said, yeah, sure, let's do it. She signed me up. She signed me up for student loans. And she was like, okay, well, you're enrolled. Like, you have all the credentials you needed for this program. I did not even look at any of the other programs at the school. I just kind of went for this one. And, yeah, so that same day, I got accepted into the school because it was such an easy process. I didn't need to upgrade or anything. And she helped me with the student loans. And she's like, you start fe end of February. And I was like... Oh my gosh, I just enrolled myself in the school, which I did not think that I was going to do. I just came here to look at the school, look at the program, and kind of think about it. But I just, like, went for it, which, if you know me, like, I don't really go for things like that. I'm going to take um, my Anastasia um, highlight palette. And I'm going to take Kitty Cat, which is the very first one. And I'm just going to put some of that, like, on the middle of my eyelid just to brighten out the middle part yeah I was really happy and very nervous and scared at the same time that I had enrolled myself into the school once I got accepted like literally that same day I went home and I told everybody like I quit my job <laughs> but by the way I'm going to school next month so you don't have to like worry or anything like that so they were all happy for me um but yeah that's pretty much what happened um the program was amazing it was five months four months of like class in class part and then july to august was practicum i always tell myself and i tell everyone else also that like I feel like God kind of just laid this out for me and was like, you need to do this, go for it. Like, when I went to go inquire with the girl, like, it was just such an easy process. Like, I feel like he just kind of laid this path for me and was like, this is what you're going to do. I'm in the program. Um, it was a very tiny class, like, tiny. We had four people, including me. Um, and then halfway through the term, or half, yeah, so at the end of the first term, we lost two people, <laughs> um, and then we added another one, so we ended with three in total. My graduating class was three, um, which was fine because I loved my teacher, and, like, having a small class had more time, like, one-on-one -on -one with each other and with the teacher, so I really enjoyed it. It was really easy. Um, and at the same time, like, very nervous because I've never done anything like that before. I've worked literally in retail from when I was, like, 16, maybe even 15. So, like, over 10 years. Another thing why I was so nervous going back into school is because retail is, like, all I've ever known because I didn't do anything with my business and my marketing so I thought, like, am I good enough to go back into school and especially healthcare? Like, that's, like, a big thing for me. Oh, my God. It is so freaking hot in here, let me tell you. Like, I've got so much light on me right now. It's insane. I've got this mirror here with this light, which I don't really think, like, gives off any heat, but... I have like my vanity light on my wall which has six light bulbs and they get so friggin' hot and then I have my ring light which is like two feet away from my face so it's like hot and I'm like sweating up in here. So I totally forgot what part of the story I was in. I feel like um, everything happens for a reason so when I had quit my job is when my mom broke her arm so I was there to help her and it took her like two months to you know like get back into her groove and everything it was her I th her dominant arm also so I had to dress her help her cook help like drive her everywhere so I feel like that was such a blessing that I I 
quit my job around that time. I think like talking to my two friends about it, they kind of helped me direct me into the healthcare program. Yeah, I really enjoyed it and I recommend it to anybody. If you're stuck, like go out and look at schools or talk to people. Like you never really know. Like I knew I wanted to go back to school. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but like I talked to so many people and like you know, they all had different opinions and suggestions, but it was this one friend who took the program that was like, yeah, go for it. And I also talked to my cousin about it and her sister did it. So, um, and she benefited from it. So I said, okay, if I know two people now that had taken the program, got a job right away, I'm sold. So with my program, the, um, at the end of the program, you have a practicum. So you have a six week practicum and they put you in like three different spots so you can utilize your skills that you've just learned. Let me tell you, my first day, very first day of practicum, I was so freaking nervous. But at the same time, I was excited because, you know, four months of learning all this stuff and I just wanted to get out there and actually do these things so I can get a job, so I can get <laughs> start getting paid because your girl was broke. I had student loans and, you know, they, they give you a living allowance, which obviously doesn't last too long. <sighs> yeah. First day of practicum, I was so nervous. It's so funny. I remember my teacher telling me how in her previous class, she had a student that on the very first day of practicum, she was so nervous as well that she, like halfway through the first day, she told um, the instructor that she had to go to her car and get something, but she ended up like leaving because she was like so nervous. Our teacher told that the right before we started practicum and like... That lady was in the back of my head the entire day, like, I'm just gonna tell my teacher I'm going to my car and, like, leave because, like, I don't want to do this. Like, I was nervous. Yeah, I overcame that, obviously, and I got through the first day, and I thought, when I got home, I was exhausted because I've never worked a 7 o'clock shift before in my life. I thought to myself, that wasn't too bad, you know? Like, I'll go back tomorrow, we'll see how it is, and I have five more weeks of this um but honestly like at the end of the first week I was just like in there you know doing my thing getting in there helping out and I wasn't scared anymore right after practicum is when I got a job August 1st I had was the last day of practicum August 2nd is when I got the phone call for the interview and then August 3rd is when I had to interview. And then like a, f a few days later, they called me. So happy because I did not know if I was uh, good enough for this, if I was going to get a call right away. I'm so happy and I am still at that job. It has been, it's been nine months since I've been there. And I am loving it. I'm loving every single day. I mean, I will see there's days where like, it's so tiring like the job itself is really tiring but like you know like any job and especially healthcare jobs it has its days I cannot see myself going back into retail or doing anything else because I really love what I do so yeah that is my little story chit chat about what happened and how I went back to school and became a healthcare aide. Definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made was to quit my job and go back to school. If it sounds like I'm kind of like changing the volume of my voice is because it is currently almost midnight. Like everyone else is sleeping and like I don't want to be too loud. So I'm going to take off all this powder. I really hope this story makes sense. I don't even know, like, I think I was just rambling, like, I hope it is in order or, like, it just makes sense to you guys. I feel like the moral of the story is, like, go out of your comfort zone and break out of your shell and just, like, try new things, you know?
Like, you never know until you try. Because, like, never in a million years would I thought I'd be in healthcare. And here I am. This whole talk about, like, going back to school and becoming healthcare aide and everything, this is what popped up on my memories today on Facebook. A year ago today, um, it's a picture of me and a classmate. And the caption says, when you realize school is just flying by, just a little over a month till practicum. So that was exactly a year ago, you guys. And here I am, a year later, talking about it. How crazy is that? I'm going to use my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. Oh my goodness. I'm going to use this color right here for contour. I'm going to contour down my nose. Highlight palettes again. And we'll use Kitty Cat again, just for my highlights, which is the first one there. For the lips, I think I want to do this for the lips. Um, it's by Ofra, but it's called Charmed. So we'll see if this looks good with the look. I feel like I need to add a gloss on top of that. Oh my god, this is my Patrick Star lip gloss and the thing just faded off. The name. I don't know what name it is, but it's the Patrick Star Collection one. Don't think I'm feeling this lip color, so I'm going to go ahead and change it. I think that is more me. I always go back to my MAC Fresh Brew. Always, always. One last thing is I'm going to set my face with the Sue Revitalizing um, Rose Mist. It smells so good. It's exactly like roses. Okay, guys. That is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look, this video, this little chit-chat type of setting. Um... Yeah, I really had fun doing it, but I'm sorry if my story kind of got cut off because my battery dying kind of really messed me up and I don't really remember where I was in my story, but I think I covered the bases of how I got into school, what happened in the five years, and yeah. <laughs> Basically, the moral of that story I feel like is go for it. You never know what you like until you try. Um, and God always has a plan for you. Definitely trust and believe in that because, like I said, I never thought in a million years that I would be in healthcare and here I am and I am loving it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! all off and go to bed.